Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at strange and bizarre TikToks that will make you question everything. Yep, I think it's pretty much safe to say that AI has just put jugging to rest. So you think you're a smooth criminal 3000, huh? Well, they got something for you because mm. now they have the AI jugging detector 3000. They literally can tell when you're standing, when you're walking, when you're normal, and when you're jugging. They know exactly what pocket you're putting it in, and they can tell what hand is putting it in which pocket. So for you smooth criminals, they got a smooth AI for you. So you can gently moonwalk into jail, into a cell. But I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. It was only a matter of time before they actually start implementing this AI for this jugging problem. And they only adding more and more as the AI keep advancing. Like, ain't no way they just created a swiping or swiping ass AI and they implanted it inside of the stores. And this type of technology is only going to continue to advance. So, RP Jugging 2024. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Jugging Bot Detector in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. And if y'all want the secret formula on how to blow up off of social media, comment down below ATM. Let's get started. Listen, I'm not too much concerned about, you know, stealing or whatever. But what that technology makes me think of is like the social credit scores they have in China and stuff like that, right? If they see you, say, for instance, you went in there and you got a piece of bread and you put it back, but you put it back in the wrong section. And that AI is so advanced that it knows that you put it back in the wrong section. And now it's a ding to your credit score, your social credit score, right? Because you're not a good civilian. You know what I'm saying? It's things like that that I'd be worried about. Carrots are bleached. There is no such thing as baby carrots unless you pull a carrot out of the ground when it's a baby. They're being fooled. They're just big carrots that are broken into small little little chunks. pieces and sprayed with a chlorine solution. What other products are sprayed with bleach? All kinds of produce is sprayed with bleach and or other chemicals that may or may not be safer. Even organic produce. Even the solutions at the grocery store when the little sprayers come on. Yeah. It's not water. Then how do we get safe produce? Grow it. Farmers markets, CSAs, community shares. And if you want baby carrots just pick them early pick them early no such thing as baby carrots all oh, this stuff fake so this hurricane barrel's projected path i'm not sure when this video was made but it is monday and i'm pretty sure it's already hit houston It's showing that it's going to be stuck in Houston on Sunday. That was yesterday, right? Hey, so this came from one of my subscribers, actually. So the police fighting the police, basically. Or the military fighting the police. That's crazy. Do you remember the guy named Fitz That's that crazy. gave his testimony about the interdimensional beings at the Bayside Shopping Mall in Florida? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Fitz. I, um, I was there at the Bayside Mall with my family. So the very first video on guy named Fitz's account is him giving his testimony about what happened. I find it kind of strange that this guy's entire account is based off that alien sighting at the Bayside mm. Shopping Center, which leads me to believe it's a psyops. This all conveniently mm. happened around the same time that they released some confidential court dockets to the public regarding the Epstein client case. But I do find it interesting. There's a seven part series on his account. What made our situation a little bit different is that I do have footage. Um, and I didn't take it on a smartphone. But he did come out and say that sometimes when he goes out in public, he carries around a VHS camcorder that he's able to record on. I do take a VHS camcorder. Um, and that night when everyone was getting their phones confiscated and files deleted, 
nobody noticed that I had a VHS camcorder. Yeah, I have the footage here. I'm a firm believer that when they fired up the LHC at CERN, it inevitably tore holes in the fabric of our realities. And I know for a fact alternate dimensions are opening up to and folding into and onto our reality. We are three and four dimensional beings on the cusp of being able to experience five, six, and seven D consciousness. You, you know, bad people found out that we did. I don't know how, um, but they did. And things kind of went downhill from there. But we've already been planning uh, a release of the footage because um, a lot of other stuff happened that night that people don't know about. I've seen those black antimatter sea urchin beings in shadow work meditation. It's like a seventh dimensional symbiote. Because we thought, you know, just for our safety, it would be good to put it out there that we had it. Keep in mind that as we tap into 5, 6, and 7D consciousness, we're not only going to be able to see the spirits of light, we will also be able to see the inverted shadows of darkness. Think about Claudia Jordan right now. Claudia Jordan don't ever mention my motherfucking name. She mentioned it yesterday. Talking about why people are afraid to come forward. You mean like you? Mm. Mm. You was Diddy girl. Corey was Jay-Z girl. Mm. Why don't you claim your friend? Claudia. So, Jack, what you say? When Jay I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay-Z's Jay pregnant mistress yeah. who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like wow. the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimora who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list. Wow. Who the fuck was these people supposed to go to? The internet has been in an uproar since finding out that Rosa Parks' husband had a car. Wait. What? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what? This is exactly why I don't do that no more. If you're somebody that likes to garden or relax, you need to listen up because it is very important that you hear this. Earlier today, the LA Times released an article titled The Dirty Secret of California's Legal. It talks about poisons showing up in California's safe gardening products. This article is specifically about shopping carts and it discusses how they found brain cell eating pesticides in some of your favorite brands shopping carts. There's 26 pages worth of shopping carts that are listed, but most of them fall under two major brands. One of those major brands is called Backpack Boys. This is only a screenshot of one of the pages. Backpack Boys was actually predominantly most of the shopping carts that were listed. The next brand is West Coast Cure, and this is a major brand that most people that I know have tried before. This right here is an entire list of the pesticides that are found in these shopping carts. I have always been somebody that told you guys not to relax with shopping carts because of the possibility of so many problems with them. Also, the fact that they are the worst and most impactful on your lungs. But even if you don't relax with shopping carts, it is very important that you see this list. Just because shopping carts are the only ones that are listed. Oh. Yo, don't mess with shopping carts. That's messed up. People thinking they relaxing, getting something good for them. See, I knew it was something up with these spots, man. Like, once they made it all illegal for everybody. That's the danger right there. It's like, oh, nah, nah, I don't even want it. Where the real stuff at? Where the Willie Nelson's at? You know, that be out there planning it out in the hills, up in California, nice and organic, outside. Dang. We are in for a day. I don't know whether to be scared or excited, but my brain says to be excited, so we all. So, last night, Lockbit decided to keep their fucking promise and started slowly releasing information because they done been pissed off. If you missed my previous video, the Federal Reserve was hacked. Lockbit took credit for the hack. And in a weird turn of events, Lockbit is not trying to expose individual civilian information like we've seen in past attacks before. They are specifically threatening to quote unquote expose America's banking secrets. And that's mm. the links that they're posting. I don't even know if they're gonna take the money now. As you can see here, it is absolutely not a hoax. 
they are posting the links and here are the fucking links so this is what's happening right now the green ones are ones that have been released and contain a link the red ones are the ones that are still on a countdown timer i snagged that screenshot last night all of the links should be published y'all better go get your grip of paws on them while they're still available that's a weird one so yeah. bear with me but this picture of sofia vergara seemingly normal right i think she's on america's got talent as a judge or whatever she does on march 16th i screenshot this from my phone you can look at it on her instagram but but what is that that's not motion blur i'm an editor that's not motion blur that looks like some ai stuff whatever we can look it over but wait it it gets weirder what is wrong with them For all real. these people right here what is happening her why doesn't she have an eye? And if this is AI, why? Why would it be? A lot of questions need to be answered there. Where do fireworks go? You can still hear them. Where'd they go? Yeah. Should we be worried about that or is that just the echo? Breaking news that we're watching right now from South Suburban mm. Madison. Uh, Chopper 7's over this. Uh, it's a train derailment near Main Street and 218th Street. Uh, a village spokesperson tells us that one train car is leaking right now. Uh, no oh, reports wow. of any injuries uh, and there are no immediate evacuations right now, uh, but a big mess here. Uh, in a situation that Chopper just got to moments ago before you saw this live picture. We'll keep you posted on what we hear and we'll bring it to you this half hour. Oh, so we were asked to pull over by the police because there's a wide load coming in the middle of nowhere. Sophia, come back, get back, get behind the car. Oh my gosh. So this is the reason why the police pulled this over. Oh my gosh, what is that? Shoot, I don't know. What is that for real? Okay, he said he said we're good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was it. So I'm sure we all seen this reflection on our phones or cameras when we face it at the sun. All right. So this video was five years ago. My buddy, you know, um, did when he launched a weather balloon up in the stratosphere. Um, this weekend, I went to go visit him because he was going to do it again. He said so. He told me to come through, so I came through, and look what we got when we got back the, you know, the, um, the camera. Look at the sun. Remember the sun, right? That last clip, how it looked? Look at it now. Check this bad boy out. What are those? I, all hmm. around that sun, right? I'm gonna show you guys the reflection because you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, it's a reflection from the lens. Yeah, 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 shut up. But check this out. Hear me out. All right, I think it's coming up. Where did I, like, mark it where I could see it? Damn. Oh, and it's in slow motion because the weather balloon was going crazy spinning. It was mad windy. So right here, this is the reflection. All right. That's the reflection. Right here, it looks like it's attached, literally attached to the sun. Like talk about blocking the sun. That shit looks legit like it's blocking the sun. Am I right or wrong? Like they upgraded their hmm. fucking sun simulator. Because I don't remember seeing that shit on my other reflection. But look at this pattern, right? Looks like that tube thing. Oh shit, the next clip, y'all gonna trip out. So check this out. I'm pretty sure once you guys see this, you guys are gonna be convinced that it's a sun simulator. So, look at that Ooh. little thing I circled, right? Kind of looks like a satellite. Now check this, the, oh my God. Look at that. Look at that pattern from NASA, right? And look at that, what I circled. What the fuck? That's the same exact thing. That is the sun simulator. They either upgraded it on That's April the James Webb literally, telescope. You know, hug, it's the hugging the shit out of that sun. Like, is it good for it? Probably not. Um, how do they do it? I don't know, but I know they did it on April 8th. That's the, that's the only way I could fucking think how they did that without, without us notice, noticing, right? They had to do it on April 8th. That's the whole fucking commotion going on. Um, God damn, dude, that's fucking legit. I think me and my friend really got a video of this sun simulator. I mean, even the sun looks different. It's not even like what it was five years ago. That is nuts. 
What do you guys think? Do you think we caught the, the real sun simulator? And you think it's attached to the sun? Because that looks fucking dangerous. I hope that shit doesn't blow up. I don't know how they did that. Fucking, oh, that pisses me off. Anyways, leave, uh, leave a comment down below. Yo, you think it's attached to the this sun? This is the Jersey Shore. This is how the Jersey Shore has always looked. The water has always been murky and dark and just not very inviting. Every time I've gone to the Jersey Shore, this is the water that we've gotten or this is what we've seen. So when the fuck did the Jersey Shore turn into this? Crystal clear Caribbean style water. Right. I have never seen the Jersey Shore look like this ever. I mean, it's like we literally just came to the Caribbeans, but no, this is the Jersey Shore. You cannot convince me that something isn't off when literally the water has completely changed on an entire coastline in a year's time. Something is up. There is something happening. I don't know what, but for the good God, this is not normal. Hey everybody, you ready for some good news? Okay, here's what it is. If you are about freedom, then this message is for you. On Friday, the Supreme Court overturned a case called Chevron, okay, meaning like all these agencies that are about regulations, to give you an idea, like Department of uh, Motor Vehicles, um, Department of Education, um, Fish and Wildlife Management. All right, I'm going to give you an example. I'm a commercial waterman, okay? So the FWC, which is Florida Wildlife Conservation, they make all their own little rules, like statues is what they call them. All right, so these are not, these are not rules that were governed through legislation. All right, they had legislators in the courts allow these smaller agencies with their so-called experts to make their own rules. Like tomorrow, for instance, here in Florida, certain areas, um, scallop season opens up for recreational. All right, so it goes for like one month. It'll start July the 1st, and it'll go for like one month. And these agencies say and dictate how many scallops somebody can catch on a boat. And they dictate when the start of the season is, when the end of the season is. Um, the same with crabbing, fishing, all those types of things. Um, they also allow say you want to go fishing well you got to go and buy a fishing license so you got to fork out some money and if you don't have that fishing Straight license up. you can be you know arrested essentially what hey this is what i do though you know what i'm saying i go out there with my kids cast the pole out sit back and i don't touch the pole because when the park police pull up i'm like hey i'm just bringing my kids fishing that's theirs that's not mine because a fishing license is crazy to me you need a license to do anything in this world, well, at least in America. Like, just sit back and think about it. Think about something that you don't need permission to do in this world. What this case did is when they overturned Chevron, it took away all those or made all those statues and their rules and their so-called laws unconstitutional. Like, um having to register your car every year, things like that. See, the legislative body, these congressmen and all, they're supposed to, they're, the lawmakers, they're supposed to make laws, but they're not supposed to be approved until we, the people, vote on these laws to approve these things. They didn't do this, and they allowed these government agencies, you know, with their, like I said, with their so-called experts to make their own rules, their own regulations. So... Overturning this case is huge, huge. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be I mean, a lot of uh, legal cases going to be end up being filed. This is, this is going to be changing so much. You know, regulations is coming to an end. So you all need to be happy, happy. This is happening. 
you know, our freedom is finally coming back. I remember when I was a kid, I used to be able to go fishing without having to go and buy a fishing license. You know, that's overreach of government. You know, if we don't vote on things that these legislators, you know, come up with, and we don't approve of them, that means they're no longer law. All right, and these little government agencies, they can't just make their own rules anymore. You know, they can't regulate, like, tell me that when I can go crabbing and how many that I can catch or, you know, things of that nature, you know. Now, it's what it's going to be doing is making legislators actually work again, but it's also going to be where we start voting on, on what we want and what we don't want, basically becoming sovereign again. So anyway, that's my take. That's what happened Friday. All right? And from what I understand, there's supposed to be another case, a big case being dropped tomorrow. I don't know how true it is, but I haven't seen it on the docket. But there's supposed to be a case with Brunson. And that's supposed to be uh, overturning possibly. Um, well, I don't want to say it out loud, but something else. If you don't know what it is, maybe just do a little research on it. Anyway... Be happy. Life's about to change for all of us. You know, I mean, this is big. This is really, really big. Anyway, have a fantastic evening. Spread love, light, and happiness. And I'll be talking to you soon. Hmm. So I wonder what that means about, like, the FBI, the CIA, the DEA. You know, because they all make their own rules, too. I wonder if they fall underneath that uh, Chevron thing. The following footage was captured in Vancouver Waters in Canada. Now, the person, the woman who actually captured this was sitting on a train when she looked out over the water and noticed something moving against the current extremely fast. Definitely not a whale, but as she's recording, she captures a glimpse of this unidentified creature. But the question is, yeah, what, is, what is it? Could it be a submarine? Are there submarines in, no, in those specific no waters? Or is it something else? Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. It's Godzilla. It's a dragon. It's Godzilla, y'all. Coming out of the waters. About to come fight somebody. I don't know what this could be. And like she said, it's going against the current. So whatever it is, it's pretty powerful. What's your thoughts on that one? I don't know. They say Aldi fresh. But they're salads. Hunting bioengineered food ingredients. Mm. Mm. What don't know, They They're bagels. Contain bioengineered food ingredients. Not so fresh. No artificial flavors, but it contains bioengineered food ingredients. I mean, I guess that's good, right? No artificial flavors, even though everything else is bioengineered. It's not real. Granola bars or fruit bars contains bioengineered food ingredients. Listen, I'm starting to believe that if it comes in a box or a can or a bag, it's not real. It's bioengineered, it's GMO. They created it somewhere. Like they be tricking us, right? Think about like the Pringles chips, right? Get the Pringles chips that come in this nice little can stacked up. And you really think that they done slice these chips from a real potato and put them in this can so perfectly. No, them chips ain't got a lick of potato in them. You know what I'm saying? That's all bioengineered ingredients. Hopefully I don't get too, uh, <clears throat> hopefully I don't get into too much trouble by saying this stuff. But yeah, that stuff don't be real. What? Y'all heard that? Oh, let me turn this up. He's talking. 
No. Yo, that's Optimus Prime. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. Decepticons. What else could it say? Yo. Tweet, tweet, tweet. It is talking, I swear to God. Listen. Oh. Is it real? I don't know. Is, is it like a robot? Like, because that's a pretty good moving robot. What? Why is a bird? Yeah, say something. It's like saying. I'm just sitting there too. Look, its eyes look Ew, like it cameras. Peed. Wait, it just peed. It just pooed. I know. That ain't what it was doing earlier. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we gotta go, guys. This is oh. weird. <laughs> Careful, Willow. Okay, yeah, I was scared of him. Like, dude, get out of here. Well. Yeah, that mom giving out some type of code or something. I don't look know that, what it was saying. Look how big that fucking cypress is. That's a tree, y'all. Uh, underwater. That a tree, tree is stump. huge, bro. Imagine how that ass on your boat. <laughs> it's crazy. So wait, those is tree. That's that's probably an artificial river or lake or something at the end. They probably flooded what was ever really there in the first place. You know what I mean? Like they probably cut the trees down and flooded the whole area. I don't know though. I'm just under that impression off of first sight, I guess. A shiny sphere. They've been saying the dragon been released, huh? You know, somebody got their channel banned. For, no, actually, no, they lost their job for talking about a dragon. They talking about some Leviathan dragon or whatever, and they got fired from their job for this. There's a video about it. Sidewinder! That's crazy looking. It looks like something reaching. Don't it? Some Stranger Things type stuff. I know when they strapped a camera on a shark and look what it filmed in the sea. A mermaid in the sea. No, you put a GoPro on his fin. Jump scare. It's, there you go. I think I see it coming. Look, look. He no way the shark recorded that. I don't believe the shark recorded that, man. It might have though. You guys, what the fuck is going on? Downtown Nashville. We in our cactus in USA. We like to wear our polos and khakis. Tiger sitting. That looks like a person. He like who wants smoke with me? He looking like who wants smoke with me? Um. <laughs> when are these lugaus going to stop? We got bear lugaus, goat lugaus, dog lugaus, cat lugaus. 
a tiger, Lugawu, bro. As if a tiger wasn't menacing enough. This has to be AI. There's no way this isn't AI. It gotta be. The, this Lugawu is sitting up like he's waiting for you to come and dap him up. Dap him up. That was, was good, my guy. The only thing this, this Lugawu is missing is a Nike Tech suit. Put him Straight in a Nike up. Tech, give him a ski mask, and you're not gonna know if Lugau is missing is a Nike Tech suit. Put him in a Nike Tech, give him a ski mask, and you're not gonna know if he if he a tiger or not. It's in here, Straight Tony up. the tiger. Yeah, that's Your Tony. Has been blown. That's Tony right there. Can you imagine going to a zoo and you see a tiger just sitting up like this? Looking at you like, hmm. <laughs> don't worry. As soon as the lights go out, I'm about to be roaming these streets. Talk to me crazy. I'm coming after you next. What's going on here? What's going on here? Lugawu ashita, comme si l'artan manger. What's going on here? This AI, bro. I refuse to believe this is a Lugau. I refuse. That bit. He, the Lugau is resting. Resting his. I'm not even call these paws. These are arms now. <laughs> He's resting his arms on his legs. AI is going to be the end of us. AI is going to. No, because we can't just sit here and think this is. This is, this is not possible. It's not going on. Paranoid conspiracy theorists. Virginia home explodes after firing more than 30 flares at cops. Wow. Zoo. No, I've never. Zootropolis? Never. It's Zootopia. 100%. 100% Zootopia. If I have my kids coming here right now, they would say Zootopia. Yeah. UFO? This this fucking sun. This isn't huh. the same sun that that I grew up with, man. There's no way I stayed outside all day in this fucking sun. This that this is fucking different. I, I don't care. Anybody can tell me this motherfucker right here is a different sun than what I grew up with. Yeah, you know it probably is. What if we don't have just one sun in our solar system or in our whatever we live in? What if there's not just one sun? What if we're just being deceived this whole time? It could be a new sun. If you go back to like old uh, Norse scriptures, Vikings and stuff like that, they talk about their sun, how they miss their old sun. So that means there must have been a new sun at some point in time. What if we we're just experiencing a new sun? It could be something like that, though, you know, to where, you know, they say there's like, um binary star systems or three star systems out there you know three body problem it could be a situation like that what if we have a three body problem here we just don't know about it what if earth's really not that stable and that's why we have all of these resets because there's more than just one sun here it's something to really think about and really look into but yeah guys these are some of the most creepy and strange tiktoks that are out there if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bells on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.